This series of videos will cover the system preferences in RMB9. The system preferences is an administrative function and you will use this particular function to set the options for your company's RMB9 system. So it will contain all the preference settings that will affect all of the RMB9 system users. To get to the system preferences, click on setup and select system preferences at the bottom. And we're going to talk about the general section in this particular video. So let's expand general. And your first option here is email. Now, RB9 email system utilizes SMTP capabilities. You cannot email out of the system using Outlook any longer since it's a web-based application. So if you want to email out of RB9, these are the bits of information you must have. Uh, the SMTP server, that's the outgoing SMTP server, um, which outgoing port number your, the SMTP server uses, whether or not your email server requires authentication, and also provide an email address and a password. So basically that's a valid account on that particular email server. So if your server does require the authentication, it has to validate the actual account. If I click edit here, you'll notice that there is a signature section at the bottom. And what I want to show you is that you can create a general email signature. And it's actually pretty nice here too because it can be standard text as you can see. And you can also create links. So there is like a links button right here, hyperlink. And you can also insert images. So if you have an image of an actual company logo or your actual wet signature, you can put it on here as well. And then you also have the options once you're done setting all this information, you can test the email too. So it's very important. Let's go over to the next tab, which is forgot password. When you initially log into the RB9 system, you have to log in using your username, email address, or password. If someone does forget their password, there is a forgot password link. And this is the actual email you can set up being the subject and the actual message. So if I hit edit here, You'll see it's real simple. You can make the subject wherever you want, RB9, reset your password. So when someone does click it, this is the email they will receive. Our standard message right here just says, Dear RB9 user, we have received your notification. Yada, yada, yada. Please click here to reset it. I also have these fields here that have these brackets. These are merge fields. So there are a couple of merge fields that are available for this particular email setting. So maybe I want it here, instead of saying, Dear RB9 user, let's take that out. Maybe we have an extra field for a merge field we can actually insert to make it a little bit more uh, personal. So if I click that down arrow right here next to the insert data field, one of the actual fields is requested by. That's a person's name, whoever actually requested it. So if I insert requested by, you'll see it inserts that merge field. So when they receive the actual email, it'll say Dear in their name. So it'll make it a lot more personal and then you can save your changes. The next tab is license information. So this particular tab is just to give you information about your database. So you have so there's some important fields here. If you're curious to know how many licenses you have, you can see your total license count, the expiration date of your actual database. It even gives you your RB9 URL, and it tells you who the license is licensed to. And at the bottom, we have the plugin section where we give you all of the plugins that you will subscribe to so you can see everything. Let's click on the login tab. So the general login tab is basically for security purposes. So you can set some particular settings if someone is incorrectly logging in too many times and if you want to reset password uh, periodically enforcing. So let's click edit here. So the first one is account will be locked out after this number of tries. So basically, you can set it to never locked out or three through seven. So I would suggest maybe doing something like five. You can turn on password complexity if you want to by checking this box. So keep in mind that's going to be the complex password where it has to have the uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and a symbol. So that one is very particular. And if you want to enforce a reset password after so many days, you can check this box and the duration for how many days you want to set that reset to. It can be set right here by this drop down. You can set it to 30, 60, 90, or 180 days. So let's go ahead and set ours to 60. If you do enforce the reset of the password, allow the same password as the current. Check that box if you want to allow the user to use the same one. If not, uncheck that box and they will have to create a new password. 
This last setting is to replace standard logon names. Instead of using a logon name, you can actually set this to use email as a logon name. So that's way when you do set up new user accounts in the system, you don't have to actually set a logon name. As long as you put their email address in there, that will be the account they'll use. Then always click save to save your changes. Notifications and messages. So this is a general setting for the RB9 message center. Uh, basically what it'll do is for everybody's message center, whatever number of days you specify, the system will automatically delete the sent messages and messages in the trash. So of course, same thing, click edit, click your drop down, and you can select any number of days from 30 to 180. And the last tab here is system time. So let's go ahead and click edit here. And basically what you'll want to do is you'll want to set the time zone that you're in. So in this case, we can set Eastern time. And we can go ahead and check the box for automatically adjust daylight savings and click save.